future video. I spent so long trying not to do this. This was supposed to be my last resort plan. My last resort plan of, you know, irritation. My last resort video of reviews because my channel's dying. And meb. These, I did a review on one huge paper plane, the first one, in October of 2018. And I showed you that you can get these book for free, well, on about, on Amazon and eBay, which was a pretty good description. I got another version, 100 space planes instead of 100 paper planes. So we're gonna, today we're going to be doing having a look at this. Now these have been a little bit wrecked since I was in the floods. You know the flood that happened again back in twenty six in twenty eight teen and nineteen has severely damaged me again. Sorry about the flood that's happened this week. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyway, alright, so this is the first page. The first page is, this is falling out, the first page is the page which they explain to you how to make all the lovely fancy fancy airplanes. As you can see, um... Um, how do you put it in again? Ah, there we go. This is how you put them in. So, obviously, since you've chosen your plane that you want to make, you go over to the selection of aeroplanes. Now, they should tell you the certainty of it. So, these lines represent the creases, the creases on the piece of paper that you should know. The creases on these represent the creases when you fold the airplane. Each plane has a different type. Oh, wrong way. So you have all of these little airplanes that you can simply make all all different, or simply, or simply all your airplanes that you can make. Basically, you can make all planes in the book. Now, let's go back to the original one. Now, the original one is a little bit more and less wrecked than the first one. Because it's still actually in its book. As you can see, it hasn't fell out of its book yet. Because this was in a drawer and not on the floor. It was still affected by the flood, though. So here you go, these are the planes. So they're basically, these are the planes that you've got on this one. You've got the dart, the glider and the jets included with, including at the end of the book, you've got you've got the maintenance, or the maintenance, I think that's how you say it. The coaster. Stay. Stay, book. Stay. Stay, 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 stay. Stay. And the last one, the bug. And the last two, the bug and the shovel. The shuttle. I mean. So, again, you make the airplane design that you want. Which could be anything that you want. Obviously, I'm trying to get out these pages because they're pretty much useless. But normally, in the corner, as you can see here, it shows a little plain mark representing which colour the creases the creases are. So, for example, if it was a purple plane, it means it means the shuttle, which is important, which helps the creator create these planes. Also, it also at the front it tells tells you uh, a little bit of a tutorial, 
I believe. I think. I don't know, I think I can remember. I think it well, I think it should tell you a little bit of a tutorial. So you open the book and I think it should tell you or did tell you. Oh turn over, yes. Here they are, tips, useful tips about flying with these aeroplanes, which are good and are pretty important tips, to be honest. If I can actually show it to you, and if the page actually stays down. So here's some tips. Here, I'm going to read them to you, so you can see here. And tips you got the tips here but I'm gonna read them to you anyway useful tips here's some helpful tips which will make your paper plans fly more efficiently and last longer here's the best steps to do a perfect takeoff and landing stand face and forward hold your plane in the front of the middle of its body pull back and throw it forward in a long smooth movement to release to release your plane Try the angle of your plane's wing to alter its flight. You can do wings up or wings down or add a wing tip to fold. And spoiler alerts, um, I don't recommend you putting the wings down like it says, like it says here. It doesn't, even with the tips off, it won't do a proper performance. All it will do, since the wings are now inverted, because they should be level or up, the plane will do a twist and turn upside down, which can result in drag. Even maybe with the tip films, it might slow down that, like if you are if you want a long twist, but it will still turn around, basically. So, yeah, that's these books. And I got another book. It's not done yet. No, 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 no. There's another book. There's a freaking another book. Failed YouTube video to do. Where is this? Ugh. Come on. Where are you? Hold on, guys. Yeah. There we go, guys. I have found it. I found the lovely book of paper planes. Oh, why did I do that? So this paper plane is called How to Make and Fly Paper Planes. Basically those books that I just show you, but in much greater detail and it hasn't been wrecked because it was brought after the flood of 2019 i think i brought it christmas it does a brief here so it does a brief period of flight or his, history the first ever flights how and why paper planes fly about how lifts i've already explained that to you but if you don't know how to do it if you don't want to know how to do it just, I don't know, uh, I've already explained to you, check out those videos when I have. Um, and, and, uh. and now this is called making your own airplanes, or how the airplanes affect the role. These are the four laws of diagonal or of, of directions. You've got your roll and pitch. Pitch controls the up and down motion of the airplane. Your controls this motion and roll can turns this roll can roll controls this rudder controls this and pitch controls this up and down basically. Then it goes on to actually making techniques of the airplane and then flying airplanes competitionally, like the Guinness World Record airplane, Guinness World Record longest paper plane flight ever, which on the next page tells you the actual record. So the Guinness World Record distance is twenty nine point 
Seven Seconds, set by Chris Agger and Ari Cooley, and 28th of July 1996. Getting its world record is 58 metres, 193 reach, set by Tony Fetz, 21 of May 1985. Guinness British world record, 31 metres, and Ormagani record, 28 metres. All done before the 2000s. So now you've got the classical design, your classical dart that you all know and love, the simplest way how to make a paper plane, the way that I use to make paper planes. Now this is the way I think I do it. No, this is not the way you can do it. It's called the hawk dart, as you can see. Um, this is the next page of it. That's the finished result. This is the classical dart. Glided that the 2009 Guinness World Record person actually set the 2009 one because obviously this book was made before 2009 because obviously it would have put the actual world record. So this is the classical glider that I now make, which is also it's called the classical glider. Wait, 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 wait. It's a pretty simple plane, but very, very good. And nevertheless, it looks like that, as you can see. It's a good, it's a good cross on plane. You got the keel plane, which is very, very, very similar, but yet no, no, nowhere near similar. And then you've got the the next page of it, as you can see. Now you've got the modern designs of paper planes. You got the barn strawmer. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the hell the bros. Brass somewhere is. It's like it looks like that. It apparently tip um try various angles from launch straight up to forward up. You got the triplane, which is a very weird name. When you mean by triplane, they actually mean just attaching three darts together. <laughs> okay, so this is the end result. Dee -dee 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 -dee. As this is the finished end result, yeah, that's looking pretty good. You got the Northern Flyer, which is pretty much the same as the Dart, the Dart just a little bit more weird, uh, I guess, more bigger wingspan and more creases. Now you got Space Age designs, such as the Speed Floater that looks like this. Then you've got the Space Fire. I can't speak today. I can't. I can speak today. I can't think and speak today. Space Fighter. It looks like this. Hey! Next it's called the Rollerblade, which is a little bit more weird, I guess. The next is the Whizzler. I have no idea. That is a very weird thing. That that there is weird. It's simple, but weird. And that's the end of the books. That's my books, my airplane books, explained. So if you like this video, please subscribe and on the next videos. Like this video, don't subscribe, don't thumbs up, and don't watch the next video.